you wake up, you make coffee, and somewhere in the world, your Wi-Fi kettle is absolutely obliterating the internet. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of an active cyber threat. Hope you like FBI watch lists. And the best part, this is actually what happened. This is the story of Mirai, the botnet that turned your smart fridge into a cyber criminal and made your baby monitor a foot soldier in an internet war. Who needs sophisticated hacking when lazy manufacturers reinstall admin password on everything? Most malware targets important things, banks, government servers, secret files. Mirai looked at high value cybercrime and said, nah, let's enslave every idiot smart toaster instead. It was a botnet, meaning it hijacked everyday gadgets and forced them to attack websites. Like a zombie apocalypse, but with doorbells, thermostats and light bulbs. The best part? It didn't need fancy exploits, it just locked in. What kind of devices did Mirai like? Internet connected security cameras, smart TVs, baby monitors, your grandma's internet enabled rice cooker, random IoT garbage that shouldn't even be online. If it had an internet connection and a manufacturer too lazy to make people change their passwords, Mirai took it. Botnets weren't new when Mirai hit. Hackers have been using armies of infected computers since the early 2000s. In 2007, the Storm botnet hijacked over a million Windows PCs. In 2010, the Rustock botnet controlled hundreds of thousands of infected machines. These were big deals, but they had one thing in common. They used hacked computers. Mirai changed the game because it didn't need computers. It used IoT devices, things people hook up to the Wi-Fi for no reason. This wasn't just a botnet, it was the first household appliance army. Mirai didn't crack passwords, inject malware or do anything sophisticated. No, Mirai did something far worse. It just guessed. It scanned the entire internet looking for devices with factory default passwords. When it found one, it strolled right in like it owned the place. It installed itself and waited for orders from its evil overlords. This worked because people never changed the default passwords on their smart devices. Seriously, if your security camera's username is admin and the password is 1234, congratulations, you've basically rolled out the red carpet for your blender to join the botnet next. Mirai wasn't just a dumb virus, it was a DDoS monster. A distributed denial of service attack works like this. Mirai infects thousands of devices. The infected devices all start spamming a target with garbage traffic. The target crashes harder than a Windows update mid-presentation. And Mirai went all in. In October 2016, it hit DIN, a company that controls internet traffic for half the planet. The result? Twitter down. Reddit down, Netflix down, PlayStation Network down, the entire internet breaking for millions of people. Imagine trying to watch Netflix in your neighbor's Wi-Fi doorbell is the reason it won't load. It was Mirai. Did Mirai succeed? Oh yeah, it wrecked the internet. But then its creators did the dumbest thing possible. They open sourced the code. That's right, instead of covering their tracks, they uploaded Mirai's entire source code online like it was a helpful GitHub project for evil nerds. <laughs> Within weeks, dozens of hackers made their own versions, launching even worse attacks on governments, corporations and presumably rival Minecraft servers. <laughs> oh right, did I mention the original creators were Minecraft grievers? Turns out, the three guys behind Mirai were college kids who built it to DDoS rival Minecraft servers. Their master plan was, take down competing Minecraft servers, sell DDoS protection to those same servers, profit. Yes, the biggest botnet attack in history was just some dudes trying to cheat at Minecraft. I, I wish I was kidding. Of course they got caught, you can't crash half the internet and expect the FBI to just let it slide. They got sentenced, but because they cooperated, their punishments weren't nearly as bad as the damage they caused. Mirai was open source, which means its children are still out there. New variants pop up all the time, infecting new IoT devices because manufacturers still don't care about security. Your Wi-Fi fridge, still hackable. Your smart light bulbs, potential cyber criminals. Your internet connected user, probably planning a DDoS attack as we speak. Manufacturers keep shipping insecure devices and people still don't change their passwords. The cycle continues. 
Mirai turned baby monitors and smart toasters into cyber weapons, crashed Twitter and Netflix and was run by some guys trying to win at Minecraft. Moral of the story, if your fridge needs a firmware update, you've already lost. And if your password is admin123, just hand your Wi-Fi over to the hackers now and save them the trouble.